with Zeke Vivian after a goalless draw here at uh, Wellington tonight. Your reaction? I think it's a good result for us on the basis of the performance. Um, Alpha Church were a very good side. Um, they caused us quite a few issues that we didn't react and sort of solve quick enough on the pitch. Um, especially in the first half, we sort of resulted to playing over and th uh, rather than playing through and wide. Second half, we challenged them, challenged our lads in terms of that. We started causing them issues with uh, overloads in wide areas, and we started getting a little bit more success. It's just a shame we couldn't quite get that end product. Um, but yeah, you didn't look as fluent tonight to me. No, we. It's disappointing because training the last few sessions has been really, really good. Um, they've been high intensity. We've moved the ball really, really quickly and sort of with a lot more purpose in, in playing through. Um, but it just didn't sort of transpire today that that was on the pitch. So it's a bit disappointing, but we're, we're looking long term rather than sort of each individual match. So it's pleasing in a way that they've grind out a result. And sometimes that's that's an important thing as well. Yeah, well it is a point against the second place team. Yeah, exactly. So I think, like I say, the league's not really too important for us. Um, I know the lads obviously will, will want to go and win a league and we want to win games, but we want to win games for development purposes in terms of the players understanding how to win a game and not just going around and winning games for the sake of winning games. You one or two players short tonight? A couple short, yeah. So we've got a couple of niggles and knocks in the squad. Um, so Jude Cook's come up from the 16s and that I thought we've done really, really well. Caused them quite a few issues. Um, I think obviously had the incident with the keeper. Um, another day that might be slightly different. Um, and then obviously Harvey's come on the bench as well as a keeper because James was carrying a little knock. Um, and again, he's done really well, obviously, in the warm-up and been really good in training as well. So, yeah, it's good. We saw two of the lads at Bromley on last Saturday. Yeah, Cam and Zach. So they travelled uh, um, three bridges and then obviously they've gone to Bromley as well. So they've been up at training once with the first team as well. So we're proving that we can get the we will provide opportunities when we feel they deserve them. Um, and then... It's up to them whether or not they take it. So yeah, it must be quite enjoyable to go with the first team. Yeah, I think they enjoy it. I think it's a bit of a, a bit of a culture shock, and I think it's a bit of a shock in terms of the level and the intensity of it all. Um, but that's that's what we're here for. That's they they all say they want to go and play at that level, so they need to experience it. And they hopefully long term we see a bit more. And what's up. next week? No game next week. Um, half term, and then off the top of my head, I I, <laughs> I never look two weeks in advance. Um, so the week after that, I can't remember. But yeah, no game next week. Um, and do you know who you've got in the next round of the Giant Killers Cup yet? I'm not sure. I've heard rumours. Um, I don't know if it's been an actually done yet or if it's been announced yet, so I won't say too much. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers.